Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhad wala Also, the virtues of this day is the fast, what is known as the day of Ashura. And inshallah ta'ala, we will talk briefly about the virtues of Ashura and the hukum, the ruling pertaining to the fasting on the day of Ashura. Firstly, Siyama Yom Ashura Yukafir Sanata Maadi'a. Maadi'a. That first, fasting on the day of Ashura, it expiates the previous year, the previous sins that was committed for the year that passed. It expiates the sins for the previous year that passed. This is due to the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Siyam wa yawm al-arafa ahtasi wa ala Allahi an yukaffira, an yukaffira sunnata sannata lati qablahu wa sannata lati ba'dahu. 
The Prophet ﷺ, he said, fasting on the day of Arafah, I hope or I seek the reward of Allah Jalla wa'ala that he will expiate a person's sins for the year that was before it and the year that comes after it. وَسِيَامُ يَوْمَ عَاشُورَ أَحْتَسِبُ عَلَى اللَّهِ أَنْ يُكَفِّرَ سَنَّةَ الَّتِي قَبْلَهُ Collected by Imam Muslim in his Sahih. And he said, fasting on the day of Ashura, I hope, or I hope, or perhaps that Allah Jalla wa'ala seek that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expiate the previous sins or the sins for that year which came before. This is collected by Muslims. So the virtue, this shows, or this is from the bounty of Allah Jalla wa'ala upon us, that He has given us a tremendous opportunity to fast for this one day, whereby it will expiate the sins of an entire year. And Allah Jalla wa'ala is the only the owner of bounty, tre tremendous bounty. And the Prophet ﷺ, he used to be diligent. And he used to seek out to fast this day. Due to what it has of status. When he adored to Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet ﷺ, may Allah Taala be pleased with him and his father, because they both were Sahabis. قال ما رأيت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يتحرى صيام يوم فضله على غيره إلا هذا اليوم يوم عاشورة وهذا الشهر يعني شهر رمضان. Imam Bukhari collected this hadith. He said, I have not seen or have not witnessed the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم being more diligent or more concerned by fasting on a day which he preferred to fast on it uh, over anything other than it. Meaning besides this day, meaning the day of عاشورة. And this month, meaning the month of Ramadan. This is collected by Imam Bukhari. And the meaning of Yataharra, meaning Yaqsud, Sawmahu li tahsil thawabu wa rakbut al Meaning that he was determined to fast, meaning during that day, in order to acquire or to ascertain its reward, and he was yani desirous therein. Unfortunately, many of the Muslims, they are heedless when it comes to the Ashuru Islam, the months of Islam, of the Islamic calendar. And they are not diligent in learning the Islamic calendar. So therefore they don't pray they don't place any importance on really, you know, seeking out these type of days or the benefit of these type of days. And we ask Allah Jalla wa Allah to allow us to be of those who are eager to implement this fast, be it in the love. I mean Thanian. Secondly, وأما سبب الصوم النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ليوم عاشورا وحث الناس على صومه فهو ما رواه بخاري. As for the reason for the Prophet صلى الله fasting for this day of Ashura and encouraging the people to fast when they witness this day is that which has been collected by Imam Bukhari. عن عن عباس رضي الله عنهما. Also on the authority of Abdullah ibn Abbas. قال قادم النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم مدينة. That the Prophet ﷺ, when he came to Medina, for al Yahud Yom Ashura, he saw that the, the Jews they were fasting during this day. So he said, What is this? Why are y'all fasting during this day? They said that this day is the day of righteousness. They said that this is the day where Allah Jalla Wala have saved the children of Israel from their enemies. And Musa fasted during this day. So the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I have more right to Musa than you. So he fasted during this day. And he commanded that you fast during this day. Akuli kuli hada astaghfirullah wa lakum. Alhamdulillah, salatu wa salam ala rasulullah amma ba'd. The statement of the Prophet sallallahu wa sallam, hada yawmu salih. Fi wawayat al-Muslim. It comes in the narration of Muslim that's collected by Muslim. But he said, This is a tremendous day. And Allah fihi Musa, wherein Allah Jalla wa Allah say Musa wa qawm and his people. Wa gharraka Fir'aun wa qawm. And he have drowned where he caused Fir'aun and his people to drown. 
In the statement of the Prophet Wasallam, Fasamahu Musa. So Musa fasted on that day. Zad the Muslim fi rayatihi. Muslim added in his version, he says, Shakran lillahi ta'ala fa nahnu nasumuhu. Meaning he fasts out of being grateful to Allah. Being grateful unto Allah, so we fast out of our gratitude shown to Allah. And the narration that is collected by Imam Bukhari, it said, wa nahnu nasumuhu ta'adhim alahu. And we fast on this day out of what? Honoring it, meaning that particular day whereby Allah Jalla Wala have saved Musa and his people from Pharaoh. And the statement of the Prophet ﷺ, and he commanded with his fasting on that day. And Bukhari also collected in another version, So the Prophet ﷺ, he turned and said to his companions, Musa minhum fasumu. Fasumu. The Prophet ﷺ said to his companions, You have a more right to Musa than them, meaning the Yahoos, the Jews. So fast on this day. Thalithan, thirdly. When we say expiating the sins, that expiating the sins or acquiring those sins that have occurred, by way of fasting on this day, then the sins that is intended by here are the minor sins, not the major sins. He said, and as for the might, the major sins, then they are in need of a specific type of toba, not two rakats, not two rakats. A big common mistake that many of the Muslims make is that they offer two rakats, and that was one of them. Inshallah, until the evidence reaches, reach me, that we will offer two rakats when making a mistake. However, there are different positions, and that which is correct, which I follow in Alhamdulillah for those particular mashaykhs, they use the dadilla that there is no such thing of two rakaats for Torah. But there are conditions for Torah. There are conditions for Torah that you have, fulfill, have to fulfill. Now, he said, call it Iman Nawawi. Iman Nawawi said, you can't feel what it means by expiating. Siyamu yawma arafa, fasten on the day of arafa, kullu dhunubu sabayil, meaning all of the minor sins. Wa takdiruhu yakfiru dhunubahu kullaha illa kabayil. And what is omitted is that he forgive his sins, all of it, except for the major sins. Except for the major sins. Then he went on to say, meaning, Iman Nawi, Rahimahullah, Sawma Yawma Arafa Kafaratu Sanatain. That fasting on the day of Arafa is an expiation for two years. Yawma Ashura Kafaratu Sana. And that fasting on the day of Ashura is only an expiation for one year. That's the previous year. He said, Wa Ida Wafaka. And if it happened to be that one ta'meen, meaning one saying ameen corresponds with the angels when they say ameen, then it is forgiven for him his previous sins. He said, And whenever that which he find, and of that which expiate the minor sins, then it, it, it expiated. وقال الشيخ وسلام إنه تيمية رحمه الله إن شيخ وسلام إنه تيمية رحمه الله يسأل وتكفير الطهارة والصلاة والصيام رمضان وعرفة وعاشورة للصغائر فقط. And this is in his fatwa كبرى. He said that the expiation by way of making tahara, purification, wudu, and by way of offering salat, and by way of fasting on the Ramadan, and by way of fasting on عرفة and on the day of عاشورة. He said that in all of that, which it means by the expiation is minor sins, not major sins, not major sins. Also, the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as it mentioned in the narration of Ibn Abbas, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, that he said that if I was to live, that if I was to live, if I was to live to the next year, then I would fast on tis, yawmu tis. I would fast on the ninth day of Muharram, the day that precedes the tenth day of Muharram. I will fast on the ninth day of Muharram, the day that preceded. So it's recommended to fast the day before and fast the day of Ashura. Likewise, it is recommended to fast the day after if you didn't fast the day before, but you fast the day on Ashura, which is the 10th of Muharram today, and you can fast tomorrow, which is Yom Sept. It is permissible to fast. Also, it's even permissible just to fast only on this day. You don't have to fast the recommended days, meaning before or after. Also, it's permissible to fast all three days, according to Sheikh Luhaydan. He mentioned that because 
mainly because it might be confusing, inshallah. It might be confusing that sometimes the months or the days get mixed up in the, in, in the month, and then it's permissible for you to fast on the 9th, the 10th, and the 11th. It's important, ya wa akawat, that we are here to fasting on this beautiful day because it is a day in whereby Allah Jalla wa Allah have saved Musa and the children of Israel. And even though you don't understand Musa, or he wasn't living in during his time, he had, he's one of the prophets, he's one of the messengers whose story is mentioned the most in the Quran. He's the one whose story in the Quran is mentioned the most. He have a bulk of information that is mentioned from different angles in the Quran. And Musa salam, is also the same type of prophet or messenger that is the most resembling of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Musa salam, had a sharia. He came with a sharia. Musa salam, also made hijra. Musa salam, also made hijra, migration. Musa salam, also received his revelation at the age of 40. Musa salam, also had children and a wife, just as our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have. So it's important that we understand why we fast during this day. And fasting during this day, and we should fast like the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu mentioned, recommended, fasting the day after. Also, this is a month of fasting. For those who don't know, it was no, as I mentioned, the Hadith Aisha Radha Anha, there was no beloved month more to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi besides Ramadan, except Shahr Muharram. Fasting during the month of Shahr Muharram. And also fasting Talatat al Ayyam wa Min Kulli Shah. Fasting three days of every month, which is known as Ayyam Ubaid, which is the 13th, 14th, and 15th of fasting, the 13th, 14th, and 15th. So you get the blessings of fasting today, which is the 10th, fasting tomorrow, and then you can go ahead and fast on the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th, Allahu Akbar. So you get the reward of fasting, inshallah. Whatever we said in our translation that was incorrect, and no doubt was from myself and from the shaitan, and what we said that was in our translation that was correct, no doubt all praise relies to Allah Jalla wa Ala. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ant astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayk. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fi al-akhirati hasana. Wa kina adab al-nar. Hakim al-salam. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Hayyala al-salah, hayyala al-falah, qad qamat al-salah, qad qamat al-salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illa Allah. Make sure your rows are straight, line up shoulder to shoulder, ankle to ankle. Just be mindful, do not line up by your heels. Do not line up by your heels. Do not line up by your heels. Do not chase no one's feet. Do not make anyone uncomfortable. Please make sure the space that's next to you is free enough to fat. I mean, to, to make sure they can pray so no one can be uncomfortable. So that you know the Prophet Wasallam would not pray until he checked the rules. And this is so strenuous that there's so many ahadiths on this that sometimes I'm, I'm neglectful. The person that leading the people, he should make sure the rules are straight. It's not a light matter. This is a serious matter. Just make sure the roads are straight. If there's room down there, can the brothers move down just a little bit more? Inshallah. If there's room down there, just to fill up the first row. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawmiddin. Iyaka ni'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. إهنا الضراط المستقيم 
صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك العليم الذي خلق فسوي والذي قدر فهدي والذي أخرج المرعي فجعله غثاء نحوي سنقرئك فلا تنسي إلا ما شيء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفي ونيسرك لليسر فذكر إن نفعت الذكر سيذكر من يخشي ويتجنبها رشقي الذي يطلى النار الكبر ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيي قد أفلح من تزكي وذكر اسم ربه فصلي بل تؤثرون الحياة الدني والآخرة خير وأبقي إن هذا لفي الصحف نوري صحف إبراهيم وموسي الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حميدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الضراط المستقيم الضراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين هل أتيك حديث غاشيا وجوه يومئذ خاشعا عاملة ناخبا تصلي نارا حاميا تسقي من أين آنيا ليس له طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يبني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعما لسعيها راضيا في جنة عاليا لا تسمع فيها لاغيا فيها عين جاريا فيها سرر مرفوعا وأكواب موضوعا ونمارق مصفوفا وزرابي مبثوثا أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمزيطر إلا من تولي وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم 
علينا حسابه الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حميدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Let's break it down for inshallah ta'ala tonight. Alhamdulillah is a class. Tomorrow night is class and Sunday is class. Tonight is the best way of uh, memorizing the Quran. Inshallah ta'ala starts after Maghrib. There is a number for it as well. I meant to write it on the board, but it's actually post up. We're sitting around in Texas. Tomorrow night is the Tafsir Surah Fatiha. And then Sunday night is dealing with the adab, inshallah ta'ala, the Muslim etiquette and the way that you're supposed to carry yourself. All of the classes are after Maghrib, inshallah. Jazakallah khan.